Alrighty, Taurus, how are you guys feeling? I'm super excited to have you guys here with me today. So, I am doing your career and life focus, honey, and it is amazing. Okay, this is your career and life focus, your personal life focus for, in your overall energy, really, just for the month of September 2017. I'm excited. Because we just had a huge solar eclipse in August, right? And that opened the doors for new opportunities, new way of thinking, new perspectives. Um, for a lot of us, right, it's represented transformation. So Taurus, you lucked out, dear love, because you are having some amazing epiphanies from all of this energy that's been coming in lately, right? So we will have this mercury stuff gone right because mercury went retrograde on august 12th and he is leaving september 5th so yay we won't be seeing mercury for a little while right and then we had a new moon in virgo right we have a new moon in virgo coming up on september 20th so i am super excited because in your reading this is why i'm speaking so much about the planets and the moons and everything because in your reading, Taurus, you have a card here talking about the moon phases, moon cycles, the moon this and the moon that. So it tells me that this is a very high, well, heightened, excuse me, this is a heightened sense of spirituality for you, okay? And I want to start your reading off by saying this, okay? The law of attraction and its magnetic power reaches out into the universe right and it attracts other thoughts that are vibrationally like it and brings that to you and so you are getting the essence of what you are thinking about so in the month of september it's going to be all about our thoughts it's going to be about everything that we are thinking will practically come true so as a reminder as a heads up be positive, think positive, put out positive energy, and positive will come right back at you, okay? So, whether it is something you want or something you do not want, it will come to you. So, be very cautious about what you are thinking about during these moon sessions, okay? Because we also have a full moon in September on September 6th in Pisces. So it's going to be very, it's going to be some more changes happening around that time. But I want you, because you got moon cycles here, dear love, okay, my beautiful Archangel Hanyao, she brought moon cycles into your reading. So notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles, okay? So the reason why I'm stressing this so much to you guys is because a lot of you are going into business for yourself. Congratulations on that. So a lot of you are getting these epiphanies and these visions and these thoughts. Some of you are getting some weird type of knowledge from unexpected people, right? Some of you are getting unexpected news in the mail. Some of you are not only starting your own business, but some of you are working your business during the day, right? And working a regular job at night or doing something part-time while you work your business on the side. I am so freaking proud of you, Taurus. Because you are such a hard worker, but, and I know that you're a hard worker because you got to get some rest in here. And you are not the only sign that got this, okay? So, it tells me that this energy is going to be affecting a lot of us, right? So, with you, Taurus, though, I want to talk about these moon cycles because it is extremely important that you understand, okay? So, like I said, right? The first week of September, we can expect Mercury to finally get out of our way so we can start making some more positive decisions, right? And then we can expect on September 6th, right after Mercury leaves us, right, we can expect Pisces full moon, right? The full moon will be in Pisces. So Pisces are very intuitive. So it's not um, a shock to me that you got a lot of intuitive cards here. So Pisces are very intuitive. They're very... Um, intellectual, very smart, very, um, usually very enthusiastic about life, but they can sometimes be very moody, but they are also extremely emotional. 
So guys, if you find yourself to be a bit emotional around the first week of September, just understand it's that full moon in Pisces energy, okay? If you find yourself to be more ambitious by the second week of September, just understand we just got rid of so much negative energy. So now you will begin to feel a bit more sentimental and you will have a lot of emotional feelings the first week of September but by the second week or the third week of September you can expect to have some more visions and epiphanies a lot of you will be working more on your hobbies and things that you love some of you it will be music for some of you it will be art it will be writing a book for some of you some of you are some of you love to go hiking some of you love swimming so I feel like because you are an earth sign, I feel this abundance, okay, of prosperity for you. And I also feel that you guys will need to have patience around the second week of September because your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize, but still they need nurturing and patience. Take time out to go into the fields, you know, go outside, meditate. If you need to take a walk, a nature walk, you know, um, go to like um, a type, some type of uh, botanical garden or again, go hiking if you need to. <laughs> Just something that's going to get you out there and motivated again because I do see you guys progressing this month, okay? Now, I also see self-employment here. So again, I do strongly feel that a lot of you are making a change. You are saying, you know what, even though I have a job, I want to start my own business on the side just for some extra funds, right? So I do see that you guys are also being too frivolous or too cautious with money. And I feel like you are only being that way because you want to save up or you want just enough money to invest in your business, okay? Now, some of you are making some beautiful, good business decisions, and that's why I see a lot of prosperity here. I see a lot of green. So anytime I see a lot of green, that tells me it's money, it's finances, it's um, your heart, right, your heart chakra. But I'm not doing any heart chakra readings right now, but I do feel that these things are on your heart. This is something that you really want to do. So your hobbies, between hobbies and self-employment, I do feel that this is something that you've always wanted to do and you've just been kind of keeping it under the wrap, all right? You have not really been speaking too much about it. Um, but I do feel that some of you are also going to be f reflecting a lot on the past, especially during these times. So uh, when the moon happens, okay, so whether it's the full moon or the new moon or whatever type of moon that happens, Pay attention to the moon, okay? You may be outside or just walking about, but pay attention to how the moon affects you, right? So on that full moon in Pisces, pay attention. Like, are you too emotional about something? Did your husband leave the socks on the floor and you just get really upset about it? But then I feel like a lot of you are going to be calming yourself down saying, what the heck am I really mad at? Like, really? Like, I don't ever get that mad about something so petty, right? Like... <laughs> and it's going to be funny to you because I feel like you're going to be catching yourself. Like, did I really just get mad over that? It was so stupid. Like, you know, and, but even though it's going to be funny, it's going to make you realize just how sentimental you are when it comes to those that you love, when it comes to those that you miss, when it comes to your past. Some of you are going to be reflecting on the past a lot, thinking about childhood memories, thinking about people from your past, thinking about things that you used to love to do in the past and now those same hobbies that you used to do I feel like you will be putting that hobby to work in this month okay so that is good a lot of you are giving back to the community a lot of you are giving to the less fortunate you are donating clothes and money you are volunteering you are being more connected with your community so that's amazing Taurus all right now, the other thing is this, right? Like I said, you have a lot of moon energy here. And so the moon for me represents transformation because the moon is always constantly going through different phases, right? But then you have a lot of butterfly cards here too. So it tells me that there's definitely a lot of transformation here. So with this moon happening, this full moon is going to be important for you, Taurus, because you're going to be very emotional. You may need to take out some time and get some rest. Okay, take a break. You may need to take at least a week vacation from work or simply decide to work from home because you will need to take a break. All right. You will begin to feel a bit overwhelmed or a bit emotional and you will need to pay attention to the way that you feel. 
Um, pay attention to the way your body is. Pay attention to the way that you've been eating lately. Um, when this new moon happens on September 20th, that is the new moon in Virgo. Virgo gives us that energy to work hard, okay, nonstop, to go after what we want, to get that reward, right? And Virgo is also very self-critical of themselves. So you may around that time begin to feel like a bit critical of yourself. You may begin to have these thoughts of, well, am I doing it right? I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. How can I be more effective? How can I market myself in the business world, right? So with this self-employment here, I feel like that will come to you mid-September. I want to say between the 10th and the 16th. That idea may come to you about working for yourself. And that is where, especially around the new moon, I will wait until the new moon to, I mean, you can start planning between the 10th and the 16th, but I would not necessarily push it further until after the new moon in Virgo, because that is where you will get all of that ambition back. That is where you will feel more, um, I feel like revitalized or more energetic. You will have uh, more enthusiasm about your work life. You will be more ambitious. You will have more ideas and certainly more, um, more clarity. And I feel like you might also want to check your credit score, okay? I just heard that. Thank you, universe. I feel like some of you need to check your credit score. You need to check your credit score. You need to check your annual credit report, okay? So that is a wonderful site, annualcreditreport.com. It's a wonderful site to check what's on your credit and to check your credit score because it shows you exactly what's needed to, to make your credit better. So before you go into self-employment, especially if it's one of those business where you need to make sure that your credit is right, so definitely for some of you, you need to check your credit. Um, and while you are checking your credit, you can expect things to get better for you by the end of September. A lot of you will be making some good business decisions, okay? Um, spiritually, I feel like you guys are healing, okay? Like I said, I see sentimental feelings here. So spiritually, you guys are healing. You are praying and asking God for forgiveness. A lot of you are asking people to forgive you. You are forgiving people who have hurt you, who have lied and betrayed you. You are in a state of mind where you just want more, you want better, and you don't want to be held back from doing what you love. And so, again, that is amazing, okay? You are looking for ways to let go of your fears. And I deeply feel that you will be making that happen. Now, again, you have this moon card here, and it's talking a lot about psychic insights. So, it's either you're going to be tapping more into your psychic ability, or you're going to be reaching out to a spiritual guide, or some type of, um, again, I, I see a lot of epiphanies happening for you guys, a lot of visions and thoughts and ideas and opinions. I see a lot of those things happening for you. So, this can even be events behind the scenes. Again, I feel like this... Whatever it is, it's going to be some things. And this, this moon card, though, it represents the number 18. Okay, this is Archangel card, and it represents the number 18. The number one is all about rebirth. It's all about new beginnings, starting over, re, uh, fresh ideas, right? Um, and the number eight is eternal. So it's definitely something that's going to be very lucrative for you, no matter what it is. When it comes to your spirit, I feel like you are enhancing your spirituality, um, just understand though with the will card, even though this is a, can represent, um, karmic lessons, right? It can also be that the fortune is on your side this time around. So I feel like you've been not like your best self lately. And it's like now by mid-September, going towards the end of September, most of you anyway, you will be feeling a lot better. Okay. Um, I see a time of positive change. So this karmic will, it goes around and around. You know, if you've been a good girl lately, then you can expect some good things happening. But nevertheless, you are the creator of your destiny. So whatever energy you put out there, you will get back, dear love. Remember, your thoughts are extremely powerful this month, dear love. The month of September is going to be really powerful. So remember, remember, remember to think positive thoughts always, okay? Now, when it comes to your business, okay, this business idea of yours, um, a lot of you want to go into self-employment. So, an extremely effective use of your creative workshop is to ponder the aspects you appreciate 
regarding your most important subjects. Okay, so utilizing this workshop in this way accomplishes everything required for deliberate creation. You are the creator of your destiny. You know what to do to make it happen, okay? And your emotion of appreciation express gratitude. You are allowing that which you desire to manifest into your life experience, right? So, again, remember, even when it comes to your self-employment or your business, um, be positive. Say, no, this is how I'm going to do it. This is what I would like to do. And I'm going to make sure that this happens. I'm, if that means I have to work overtime, work overnight, put on some extra hours over the weekend, then so be it. But this is why the universe is encouraging you to get some rest in love. Because any time that you are considering to start your own business, that can mean more hours. A lot of people think that when you go into business for yourself, that you don't have to work as much. And that's not the truth. In fact, you have to work harder if you want to see some type of progress with that business. You have to work harder. You may have to stay up late most nights, all right? So you can definitely expect some changes, but this is why I'm saying pay attention to these moon cycles, okay? These different moon phases. You got it here twice in your reading, okay? So important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release those fears that hold you back. Um, I feel like this is also a situation that suddenly moves forward, okay? So something is changing for you. And I do feel like the self-employment is linked with your hobby. It's something that you've always wanted to do. So like I said before, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize, but you need to nurture and have patience. Okay, but I do see that this is a great business decision. So good for you, dear love. Now, without exception, what you get thought to wanted or unwanted, you begin to invite into your experience, okay? See yourself as a magnet, attracting unto you the essence of whatever you are thinking and feeling. For example, if you feel poor, you cannot attract prosperity. It defies the law. The universal code does not work that way. You have to, it's like whatever, well, it does work that way. Whatever you put out is what you're going to get back, okay? And we, and I keep reinforcing that to you because Taurus, even though you're a sweetheart, people have a tendency to take advantage of you. They say things that they shouldn't say to you. And I feel like a lot of you, I've been speaking to you for the past few months, those of you that know me anyway, right, who follow me on Facebook and on social media, you guys know that I always tell you guys this, right, that you are, you have to learn to speak up for yourself, Taurus. And I feel like in a month in July and August, I feel like you did that, but some of you just kind of just took a step back and was like, well, whatever happens, happens, right? And that's one way to look at it, right? But then it's like, if you continue to allow these people to do this to you, then it's like they're going to feel like they can always do this. And I feel like when it comes to your business, nobody has the right to tell you how to run your business. It's one thing to get advice, but then it's another thing to have someone else take fully control of what's yours. So it is definitely time to buckle down. I took out a Head Start card for you. Um, and this was time to buckle down. It's time to get things done. It is time to honor your commitments, honor your hobbies, honor things that you said that you were going to do. Make sure that you do it. Again, the power of your thoughts are extremely exhilarated this month. Okay? So, I love you guys. This was your career and life focus. Stay tuned for your love focus. That's coming really soon. And I want to pray for you before I go. So, I ask the universe to please, please bless you with abundance of ideas. Abundance of clarity so you can know what to do. I pray for abundance of prosperity. I pray for an inflow of prosperity. I pray for abundance of harmony. I pray for abundance of joy. Okay? I pray that your epiphanies enlighten you. That I so I pray for an abundance of enlightenment for you. Okay? So, Taurus, I love you guys for just being you. Thank you for your many gifts and donations. For a lot of you that have been just reaching out to me and 
emailing me. I do not forget anyone. And I love you guys so much because you have been one of my best supporters. You guys are really great. And I love you. So have a great day. Have a great week wherever you are in this wonderful universe. And I will see you soon with your love reading. And I know that it's going to be just as fantastic. So I am excited. I will see you guys soon. Later.